Hey what's up guys welcome to Trending Reviews so if you've seen one of my previous videos on the one year review of my Range Rover Villa then you would have seen that I wasn't really happy that it doesn't have the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay options to purchase so that's changed now and Land Rover have released the purchase option so I've gone ahead and installed Android Auto and Apple CarPlay into my car so I'm going to give you a quick demo on how that looks and uh, give you guys an overview of uh, what it can do. Alright guys, so the first thing you need to do is download the Android Auto app on your Android phone or if you have an iPhone then on the iOS store get the uh, Apple CarPlay app. So I've got it installed on my Samsung S10 Plus here, so if I go ahead and open the app, this is basically linked to the screen there, so you have all of the options here. So the one thing I really wanted to point out is if you just want to go into settings and play around with how the Wi-Fi, the um, OK Google Assistant works and also the Bluetooth options, then you can change that there. Likewise, if you go into the settings, you can also have a look at all the different apps that are compatible for Android Auto by clicking on this. Scrolling down here in the app store there, and then explore all apps there at the bottom. If you click on more, you'll see that there's a variety of different apps that you can download that can be compatible with your Range Rover Velar screen. So there's probably a couple of hundred here. So most of these are going to be audio apps. So they either audio books or radio stations, but you also get the um, chat applications as well so messenger services and that kind of stuff so have a look around there might be something you like to use there but the most common ones obviously would be the uh, navigation ones and the music ones like spotify waze and google maps so i'll be showing you that now the way this works is i'm going to exit this from my phone so the main thing you need to do is make sure you plug in your usb charging cable into your phone first and then make sure you allow this to be used by your screen if you're doing this for the first time so you click on allow then on your home screen here, if you just navigate to the menu items, you can see there's two options here, there's Apple CarPlay and there's Android Auto. So I'm going to go ahead and select Android. And as you can see, it's now opened up and started playing the music as well from Spotify. So that's really cool. I'll put the volume down slightly. Now, all you need to do is look at the menu options there at the bottom. So the one on the left is the navigation. You have the phone options. You have the main screen option, which is the dashboard you're seeing right now. And then you have the music option as well for apps like Spotify. So if I go on to the music one, you can see there's the Ed Sheeran song playing. And you can also go down to all of your different uh, songs that you have in your queue. If you go back, you can also have a look at your recently plays, your library, all the different playlists you have. So you can keep scrolling through, there's various different things you can do. It's just like using a Spotify app on your phone. It's not the fastest responsive application using Android Auto, but nonetheless, it does a really good job if you want to use that. All right, so now moving on to this button on the bottom left, this is the navigation button. If you select that, it will go into your default navigation, which I've currently set as Waze. But if you press it again, it will go and give you a list of all the different navigation applications you've downloaded. So I have two, Google Maps and Waze. So you can easily switch between both of them if you'd like to. So going back into Waze, if you'd like to do a search, then you can use the search box here. But what I really like about this is that you can also use the voice command with uh, Google Assistant to take you anywhere you like. So for example, take me to Oxford Street. Okay, handing off to Waze. This will give you a list of recommendations. You can just cycle through to find which one you're looking for. So let's just go ahead and use this. It gives you that recommendation and then obviously you select go and the navigation should begin. So that's really cool. I really like the voice commands. It makes it things a lot easier. There's also menu options you can do in uh, ways there as well. But if you'd like to use another navigation application, you just press that button again, switch and I'll select Google Maps and then you'll be able to continue your navigation there. And again, this also allows you to use Google voice commands to take you anywhere you'd like. So that's pretty much straightforward information about using navigation. It works really well. One thing I have noticed is if you do connect your phone to the USB cable, sometimes uh, Android Auto will not detect it and it asks you to use the original charging cable so that it can pick it up. And I've had that on a couple of occasions, but make sure you use the original cable. I'm not using the original cable and so far it's fine. I've only had that problem a couple of times. All you have to do is disconnect and reconnect and it should come up again. So that should give you a brief update on everything on Android Auto. It's pretty straightforward, it's very simple. There's not an overload of options, but it does give you very useful functionality. If you do have any questions, if you want to see any other videos on my Range Rover Velar series, I have that linked in the playlist in the description below. 
there's anything you want me to try using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, do drop a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I hope that was useful guys and do make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you guys at the next one.